Hey guys, today's topic of the video is going to be psychological realism, which was which was which was one of the most important literary movement of the particular time. But before starting, I will suggest you to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all my literature related videos. So let's start right from the introduction of psychological realism. This was an important literary movement from the late nineteenth century and early twentieth century. It is actually about the internal feelings and thought of a character. It the the main focus of psychological realism genre on action of a character, and second is thought behind these actions. Henry James is regarded as the father of the psychological realism. Moving towards the definition of psychological realism, according to the Study dot com website. Psychological realism represents the faithful and consistent de depiction in literature of inward human thoughts, uh, feelings, and its personality traits. Psychological realism is actually the reason why a character is doing what, like action, action, the that the reasons behind his or her actions. It is actually the character's perspective, which a readers and audience. Come to know by reading a, a novel. Psychological realism focuses on following features rather than just describing a story. First is interior self of a character. Second is the psycho psychology uh, or thought process of a character, and third is a is a self talk and inner speech of a character. Moving towards the examples of the um, of psychological realism given in George Eliot's *The Mill on a Floss*, nevertheless there was a visible improvement in Tom under this training. Perhaps because he was not a boy in the abstract, existing so solely to um, illustrate the evils of mistaken education, but a boy made of flesh and blood, with disposition not merely at the mercy of circumstances in this above prepare passage the last line you will be noting um, but a boy made of flesh and blood with dispositions not merely at the mercy of circumstances this line exposes the circumstances are the motivation of tom's character's action Moving was the important writers who employed psychological realism in their works: Henry James, Arthur Miller, Fyodor Dostoevsky, um, at Edith Wharton, and T. S. Eliot. Somewhere. Moving towards the important works of these writers, which where psychological realism is employed, uh, Fyodor. Dostoevsky's *Crime and Punishment*, Henry James' *The Portrait of a Lady*, *The American*, and De Tezis Miller. Third is George Eliot's *The Mill on the Floss*, Leo Tolstoy's *Anna Katharina*, and Paula Hawkins' *The Girl on the Train*. Moving towards the characteristics of psychological realism. Psychological realism allows for multiple inter interpretations of a text. It focuses on the reasons that why something is happening in the story. It focus its focus is in the story is on the character's motivation and mental process. It describes an accurate and detailed analysis and understanding of a story or a text. If some character is committing a murder. Or any other crime, then psychological realism will validate um, this that uh, that this action by describing an accurate reason for his or her actions. Interior monologue, monologue aside, and soliloquy are also the ways of representing characters' psychological realism. The stream of consciousness is also an important feature of psychological realism. T. S. Eliot's um, *The Love Song of Alfred* J. Alfred Prufrock can also be taken as an example of psychological realism. My video on the love song of 
of J. Alfred Portfrog is coming very soon. Hope that you are subscribed to it, that to my channel. And interior monologue aside, and source of soliloquy, and the stream of consciousness, the video about T. S. Eliot's biography, Virginia Woolf biography, and many writers. Um, um, links will be provided of about these videos in my description below. You can go and check that. Thanks for watching. I hope you will like or dislike the video. Um, also comment in the comment box for further inquiry and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.